So a year ago I made a video about how to prepare for the next application cycle. Now this video is an updated version of that but I'm also going to be talking about the little things that you can do that will not only help you in this application cycle but in your legal career going forward. My name is Simranjit Kourman and I am a trainee solicitor for a UK top 20 law firm. I'm currently in my second seat and I make videos for aspiring solicitors like yourselves. I make videos for law students, I talk about personal development and I vlog my journey to becoming a qualified solicitor and beyond. So I'm going to be a bit annoying and interrupt this lovely video with a small ad break. I'm going to talk a little bit about mindful learning and the various products and services that they have delivered. So one thing that mindful learning have produced are three really, really great resources for commercial law applicants, including an applications guide, an assessment centre study guide, and lastly, the law firm profiles guide, which I don't think I've talked about yet on my channel because it's quite a new thing that's been released. So I'm really looking forward to talking about that as well. Let's talk about the law firm applications guide really, really briefly first. So what this e-guide does is it talks a lot about how to tailor your applications, how to talk about commercial awareness in your applications. And there's also 28 successful cover letter or application examples that you can use in the study guide as well to really help you out. Similarly, the assessment centre guide provides a lot of hints and tips as the name suggests for the assessment centre. So really talking about how to tackle those case study interviews, talking about answering technical questions, researching commercial news stories and law firms, and also includes the most challenging interview questions and how to tackle them, as well as some exemplar responses as well. So what I really want to talk about is what Mindful Learning have spent the last six months working on, and it's the Law Firm Profiles Handbook. So in the last six months, what Mindful Learning have been doing is meticulously interviewing people from several law firms and collecting data on this to then create a bespoke handbook. Now, the law firms that are included are around 30 law firms ranging from Magic Circle, Silver Circle, American law firms as well. The purpose of this book is to help aspiring solicitors with their applications. It can form part of your research. The reason why it can really help you out is it provides exclusive insights into the different different law firms by industry professionals themselves. So what does each handbook include? It includes the following. A detailed analysis of the firm's business model, a review of the firm's unique selling points, a year-long timeline of the firm's activity, recent deals and the firm's yearly performance, and a further reading section. So I can only just imagine how helpful this would have been if I was in the process as well. So definitely definitely worth looking into if you're interested now the last amazing thing that i want to talk about with mindful learning is their e-learning platform so what their e-learning platform is is tailored one-to-one -one coaching on things like mock interviews application masterclasses, commercial awareness classes cv reviews cover letter reviews essay reviews a whole range and broad scripts yeah spe spectrum don't know why I took, I started saying Skepta, like the artist Skepta, and then Scepter, like James Bond Scepter, just, what was I saying? Spectrum, yeah, Spectrum. So if you are looking for an additional pair of eyes, additional piece of help that can really help you out, then the e-learning platform is definitely something to consider as well. These one-to-one -one sessions are around 90 minutes long, one reason why they're so great. You will have your questions answered also by trusted legal professionals. Each of these commercial law coaches who will be helping you out have a minimum of three years experience within the industry and have had a minimum of two training contract offers as well. Collectively, these coaches have written successful applications and gone through the interview process process for around 90 different law firms. And what more, what makes it really great is you will be paired up with the coach who is specific for your needs as well. So it's not that you get randomly picked a coach, you talk about what you want to Mindful Learning and they will try their best to cater for that in their e-learning platform. Now, on all the things that I've mentioned, of course, there's a little discount here in true influencer style. Uh, what other codes? What other codes? So the exclusive discount codes are Sims35 for books and Sims15 for the e-learning platform and the coaching service. Right, now let's move on to the juicy stuff. So the first point I'd like to make is my YouTube channel, and I'm, I'm not going to act like I'm plugging my YouTube channel, but I am, I am. I've made a playlist on YouTube of all my videos that talk about the training contract process. It's called Training Contract 101. 
and a lot of people message me saying sim how can i do this how can i do that how can i nav navigate the application cycle do you know about what's in glazers do you know about case study interviews and it's like all of my tips are in that playlist that's all i know that's all of my tips like everything has been packaged into that playlist everything i know now the next thing i'd like to mention is potentially trying to find a mentor now there's loads of mentoring schemes out there grow mentoring is one that's really popular and i really like i like their ethos i love their objectives i love the people behind it i love what they stand for and that's one that you can definitely apply to there's also other ones out there like the student lawyer is one that i've previously talked about in the past as well and I really found the benefits of mentorship schemes because especially in the training contract process, this is an individual who can read your applications. This is an individual who can guide you towards the right, perhaps the right path to take. This is an individual who's got your back and can guide you and answer any questions that you have. I have a mentor in my career right now, so it's not only something that you can just limit yourself for for the application cycle, you can continue to have a mentor throughout the process. This mentor can also help you gain a role in the firm that you like because they may be working there or they have a connection who works there, etc. So I really do recommend trying to find a mentor, not only for this application cycle, but someone who could potentially stay with you through the rest of your career. If you are someone who doesn't want to make applications just yet, but you want to get into the flow of making applications one thing that you can do is draft answers for why commercial law draft an answer to a practice competency question or a scenario based question it's not like you're going to then copy and paste that into an application should you apply to a firm that's not the point at all the point i'm trying to make is that you are then familiarizing yourself with the reasons for why you even want to do commercial law in the first place i think that's a very personal and unique response you are then able to practice these kind of questions and maybe just taking a little bit step further if you've got a mentor you could get your mentor to give them a read and see what they think you could give it to family and friends and see what they think so you are then practicing questions before even applying to the firm itself so that when it comes to applications and you're ready to apply for example say if you're a first gen you want to apply to vacation schemes but they're not open for you yet because i think generally they're open for second years this is something that you can do another thing that you can do is network so i've been attending quite a few networking events recently and i've talked i've talked to a lot of aspiring solicitors and one thing that they've really found useful from a networking event is how much it's helped them, how many tips that they've gained that they've, they've not heard of before and it then motivates them to continue to do what they do and I think attending networking events is super useful if you are you know applying or not applying at the moment it's really great to just get yourself out there in the world. There's some videos about networking on my channel and there's also one on the latest a vlog that I do for the Law Careers Net channel. So you can check those videos out about how I network and frequently ask questions about networking, but I think it's a really, really great and important thing that you can do throughout your career, not just in the application cycle itself. The next thing I really recommend is fixing up your LinkedIn profile. Now this is something that you can do in your spare time while you are waiting for a firm to get back to you or you know if you're not in the mood to apply to firms or you just want to do something career focused, improving your LinkedIn profile is one thing that you can definitely do and you can watch a video that I've done about how I've improved mine via the link above. Another thing that you can do while you are waiting for firms to get back to you again or if you don't want to make applications is do free internships or webinars so what i mean by free is those that are you are eligible to attend without having to go through a stringent eligibility process like bright network like doing the virtual internships for the forage or forage that sounds like nigel forage let's say forage the virtual internships with bright network were really great in during the the pandemic and lockdown so if they're still running those definitely look out for them it, there's also things like the legal cheek virtual fairs that all about law virtual fairs which are super useful in speaking to firms directly and understanding what they're looking for in their candidates the last thing that i'd recommend to really kind of get this application cycle running kick started make sure it's organized and making sure that you you kind of stay on top of it all as much as you can is organization and back in the day there wasn't notion available but you could definitely use notion to do so you can create kanban boards for example which kind of label everything under different statuses so say if you've applied to a particular firm are you at the research stage or the what's in glazer stage or are you at the interview stage so you can kind of use that document to track your progress for different firms you can also use a notion page for a deadlines page of all the different firms and their deadlines you can really organize yourself in such a way that you are then able to go back to that notion planner and really set up how you want to go about the application process 
Maybe I'll make a video about that actually, about my notion planner for aspiring solicitors. Hold that thought, I think I'll do that. Hmm. Hopefully you found this video really useful. These are just a few extra tips that really, I think, helped me when I was in the process and also those extra ones that I've picked up along the way when I've been content creating, which wasn't possible or wasn't available at the time, but I wish I had when I was applying for training contracts as well. Hopefully this video is super helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.